Yeah, Steve, this is a big jumbo AstroTurf couch. Maybe you don't have one of these at home, but if you were here for Dreamville, there's a good chance that you sat on this back in April. Look, this is new for the fireworks this year. There are a few other things that are new, and we have those things for you tonight in addition to ways to beat the heat tomorrow. If it's a Monday at Dick's Park, it's time for a spike ball meetup on the big field. All from around the triangle, so it's a great thing not only for a sports activity. This just happens to be the day before the fireworks spectacular that promises tens of thousands of people right where this game is going on tonight. And where we talked to Mitchell Wellborn about the 4th of July. The big harbinger or summer, so I think a lot of people enjoy that. So for me, it's about your friends, family, and get a little relaxation for work. There are a lot of folks not relaxing really from work today. We're going to have a huge foam pit over there for kids to play in right over in front of that water tanker. That includes Joey Vasca, program supervisor here at the park. Over here, we'll have different water stations. We'll have some misting stations that folks can go into and just cool off. He walked us around the big field where people will come from far and wide tomorrow and where we'll be broadcasting. From. My biggest advice to people is make sure you plan ahead, plan accordingly for how are you, your friends and family going to get here. One option is parking in a downtown garage around Moore Square. You can catch a shuttle from here starting at 430 and take coolers and umbrellas with you. If you don't want to take the bus and you can hoof it, this is your option. Centennial Campus at NC State and the sign right here tells you just about how far your walk is to Dick's Park. In addition to the hydration stations in this turf couch, there will be food trucks this year. And this, a jumbotron that will give you a closer shot of the fireworks and exactly what's going on on ABC 11. We watched the setup tonight and they tested it with some old trusty clips. The Tar Heels went on a surprising run to the national title. Tomorrow I can promise you there won't be any old UNC or Duke highlights in this jumbotron, nor any other tobacco road rivalry fireworks, just plain old fireworks. Mitchell came last year. And loved it. Had a blast. I think it's great because Dix has always done so well in having events. They have always done so well having events to be. Uh, let's get to some of the stats now. 26 minutes is what we're expecting for the fireworks display. They had 20,000 people out here last year, Steve, and they're expecting way more than that. By the way, this big AstroTurf couch, it moves over to the Sunflower Field at Dix Park right here uh, when the sunflowers bloom in about 10 days. Steve, all I need is an ottoman here, and I am good <laughs> to go. Back to you. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're all set. And, uh, and, and great to see uh, how the City of Raleigh has really uh, juiced yeah. up this party. They, they have put so much into this. It's going to be a fantastic event tomorrow night. We'll all be out there for it. Josh, thanks very much for the preview. And the fun begins yeah. tomorrow at 5 o'clock with music and games. And then the fireworks blast off at 930. Our special live broadcast here on ABC 11 begins at 9 o'clock. And you can find everything you need to know right now at ABC11.com slash July 4th.